All right, good afternoon, everybody. I'm just checking in, saying hello, and giving a little bit of an update here. I am on 94, heading east. I just went through the great state of Indiana, and I'm going coming into Michigan. Actually, I'm, I'm in Michigan as we speak. Well, I think we are anyway. <laughs> um, all right, what the heck is going on? If you follow the videos, you understand that I was heading down to Chicago and uh, to uh, polish up uh, a project. And uh, in 10 miles, take exit for a to US 12 East toward Three Oaks. Sorry about that. Long story short, without getting into it, because I can't and I don't want to, there has been a uh, contract dispute that's been lingering for two months. No answer has been given. No uh, remedy figured out. Um, this is not our style nor our form of cordialness. But we are a, we're a contractor that needs to work for a living. For the extreme lack of better words, the one thing we cannot do is sit around, twiddle our thumbs, and wait for answers to be given. Um, so therefore, all equipment, all trucks, all trailers, all men, all material has been loaded up since last night, finished off this morning. We're gone. Not bragging about it. I'm actually complaining about it. Uh, I'm not talking tough. It's just the way it has to be sometimes. Um, dealing with uh, today's age of uh, what I'm going to call the workplace politics and red tape and um, waiting around cannot happen. I will not follow suit with that. Neither were my superiors, which is... Uh, uh, great team to have on your side therefore we pulled the plug until something could get figured out the perfect world that we have here and all this what I'm gonna call dirtiness because I, I don't like this but whatever you have to do what you have to do is we have a brand new contract project which is called phase two um, going through Michigan and into Indiana we are now living amongst the cornfields and the farms and the soybeans and we're leaving behind the concrete jungle of skyscrapers and uh, everything else that comes with it. With it, It's a nice place to visit but no more. We are now in the land of country and country living and some good old fashioned hard working railroad work to be had. Um, so that, that's, that's it in a nutshell, my words aren't all correct. Um, for the next couple days, we are completely preparing ourselves to take a fresh start Monday morning on this new project, which I think I already said is uh, just about a year's worth of length. So some very good longevity in there, a great amount of good work, uh, something we're all looking forward to. Uh, you're going to see a video I dealt today, maybe tomorrow, of a brand new piece of equipment. A project like this, if needed, with the amount of longevity on it and all the goodness that can come from it, if a piece of equipment is needed, it is merited. Therefore, um, I'm not going to tell you I bought it, the company bought it. Um, we just picked up a brand spanking new John Deere 50 Mini X. We've been using the 35Ds for five, six years. They've been a blessing. Uh, we believe we need just a little more power and something with a little more oomph for when it counts. And uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, that's going to be picked up this afternoon. And so is all of our other equipment and vehicles and bucket trucks and high rails. Everything that we've got scattered all over the place from Kalamazoo to, uh, trust me, big old radius. We got a brand new trailer coming for this brand new Mini X and uh, I look to put on a small little showcase and kind of show you uh, what we got coming. It's all good stuff. Okay, enough about that. Um, my time is limited this week. I am shooting home tomorrow mid-morning perfect world. Um, I need to load cattle. 
the last cattle sale for me for this fall. Well, uh, no, 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 no. I, I guess I'm talking about those Holstein feeder steers. Um, I never got into it because it was kind of touchy, but a, a remedy to that very large weight loss problem from the last shipment has been met respectfully. Uh, that place of stock in my book has gone way up. Um, I know nine out of 10 places would tell you tough, that's business. This place did not. That needs to be honored. Um, therefore, uh, I'm trusting in that honor and uh, these last bit of Holstein feeder steers will be heading to the same sale um, for Friday, Friday's feeder sale. I'm looking real forward to it. I gotta load that cattle up tomorrow night and ship it to the shipper. Other than that, there might be some plowing to be done when I get back home again, unless uh, Dad was going to tackle the remaining. Um, you know, we had a lot of wet weather. Yeah, it was just too slimy to plow, but uh, it was supposed to dry up real nice. I see even the next couple few days, it's supposed to be really nice back home. Uh, I dare say pure sunshine. Um, but uh, yeah, the plowing might be done. If not, I'll, I'll take the last video of that because that might be the last bit of tillage this year. In two miles, um, two of with the exception of that possible new weeks. property that uh, is just about sealed up and looking to uh, chisel plow it before winter hits. But we'll see what happens. So that's it, folks. That's what's going on. Stay tuned to a showcase video, some new equipment that we just got. And... Uh, that's it. Hope everybody's doing okay. Happy Monday to you. Excuse me. Holy crap. Happy Tuesday to you. And there's a police officer, so I'm going to hold my phone down. Talk to you sooner or later.